My name is Brian Shaneborn and I was diagnosed with ampullary cancer in August of 2011. Something was wrong and uh, I started itching more, different parts of my body, and I was looking for rashes, couldn't find a rash. Distinctively remember one night uh, I took Benadryl, fell asleep, and it was probably one o'clock in the, in the evening, and I was itching really bad. And I told my wife, I said, that, that's it. I said, I have, you know, I'm going to the emergency doctor office. So I went to a facility close to where we live, went up there, and saw an attending physician there, and they ran some tests. This is off the charts. Your numbers is what I'm trying to say. And I'm like, okay, so what do you suggest? She said, go see your primary doctor. So then the very next day is when I did see my doctor, and then tests started going after that. The endo doctor, and he went down and scoped me. <clears throat> and uh, when I woke up, they brought me into a room, my wife and I, and he said, we found a tumor um, on the it's called the ampulla, ampulla of batter, which at that point, I said, excuse me? And she, he said, it's the opening to your pancreas, there's a tumor. Thus, this is why you have itching. I had an active life before I was diagnosed. Um, a trainer and I own my own business, a fitness business. And so uh, my fun is working out, doing a lot of active things. And a lot of active things with my family as well. This is what I love. You know, this is what I've done for the last nine, 10 years, helping people. Now 11 year, 11th year I'm in. Um, if this is taken away from me, what, what am I gonna do? It would really, it would wreck me. So, I mean, it, it goes back to have, having some luck. I hope I still have luck, but having people that care and that look at the situation and try to help and they do the best that they can. I thought of family, our family. Our kids were young, we had four kids. Well, we have four kids. Um, and the oldest was um, 11 and seven, and then the twins were three. So my first reaction was, you know, raising four kids um, on my own and, um, you know, just losing, losing my best friend. So then I uh, saw Dr. El Rashid and he suggested I go to see uh, someone at UI Health which I did and he gave me the name Dr. Benedetti. And so I, my wife and I went down to see him. And basically he said, show me your CAT scan. So I showed him my CAT scan. I'm not making fun because he's a nice man. And I showed it to him and I was amazed. It took him probably 20 seconds. And he said, I see the problem. And I said, what is the problem? And he said, you have a tumor it's on the ampulla of otter, the opening to the pancreas, and uh, it's closing your bile duct. And the bile has nowhere to go, so it's pushing out into your various parts of your body, thus you're itching. And I said, okay, what do we do? And he said, well, it has to come out. It's a more extensive surgery, and I needed a procedure called a Whipple. And um, they knew what I, what my field was, my background, and so the old version of the Whipple is they would have to cut you through your abdominal wall and do the surgery. But there was another doctor named Dr. Giulianotti who could use a robot to do the surgery. So I was thinking the same thing. What's, is there a robot coming in? And uh, then came to my senses and he said, no, 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 they uh, small incisions that they use a machine that goes in that's very precise and that can make precise cuts and go in and take the tumor out and do uh, the surgery. I look back now, and even then, is that Dr. Giulianotti was the first one in the world that I was told that, could, that has done this surgery with a robotic technique, okay? And so that was huge. And um, I remember being in that room with Dr. Benedetti, Dr. Giulianotti. We were finally all together. And again, kind of in a numb state, just looking around <laughs> to everybody. You know, and thinking, you know, okay, this has to be done. You know, it's going to be a longer surgery, maybe, you know, whatever, eight and a half, nine hours, we get this done. And I looked at Dr. Giulianotti and I'm like, okay, so this is good. And he, his, I always remember his remark, you know, you're not my first one. <laughs> so, and I mean, it, it broke the tension a lot and we laughed and uh, 
so that was good. I was just really thankful that the doctors that we crossed paths with directed us to UI Health. Um, it's an amazing facility and an amazing hospital and the staff, so um, we're very thankful. I would definitely recommend UI Health to family, friends, anyone, not even, you know, just someone with um, words of wisdom that have gone through it. Um, what was good was when Brian went through the surgery and he was, you know, most of it, he was sleeping. He was kind of out of it. The staff on the floor was amazing. Um, they always came in, checked in on him, and me just being the way I am what had a real pulse on what was happening as well. And, but they made accommodations very nice for me. So I had a place to stay. I stayed overnight with him. Uh, so I would definitely recommend UI Health and the facilities, the doctors. It's, it's a blessing. Dr. Gilinati is an amazing individual. You know, he's very intelligent and he talks medicine very well so we can understand. And um, he gave us the facts and he also told us the possible outcomes, very realistic but encouraging. So he made um, me feel very comfortable and obviously with Brian. You know, we just wanted to get it done. We wanted to get the cancer out and we wanted to continue on with our lives. If I had to describe Dr. Giuliani in, in a sentence, it would be a uh, uh, caring man that goes all out for his patients. Hands down. That's how I would describe him.